Bernie Leaving, Congregational Care Pastor at Palma Sea United Methodist. And it is with great joy that I greet you on this second Wednesday podcast of the Easter season. And I say it's with great joy because yesterday evening I got off of an airplane having flown from Philadelphia after spending a week with my daughter, her husband, and 10-year-old grandson in a suburb of uh, Northwest Philadelphia. And of course, you know how uh, much joy a grandpa gets in visiting with his 10-year-old grandson and going to his opening day little league ceremonies, his first game of the season, driving him to karate and all the other kinds of things that a grandpa enjoys doing with a grandson. But joy in a very different kind of way too, because when I arrived in the Philly area a week ago yesterday, the place was barren. There, was, there were no buds on the trees. The grass was brown and it was raining and it was cold and it was windy. It was dreary. Uh, we Floridians might say it was miserable. And for the first four days I was there, that's kind of the way the weather was. I was going up to do some lawn work and to be a chauffeur for my daughter and family because my son-in-law had undergone some significant neck surgery and couldn't drive. And so I was doing things that he couldn't do or I was supposed to, but I couldn't. It was raining and it was cold. So I didn't do those things. But then after four days of that kind of weather, suddenly the sun began to shine and things began to happen in nature that just were unbelievable. The jonquils that had been up and budding bloomed. The crocuses were up and opening beautifully purples and blues to the sunshine. And of all things, just the day before I left with the bright sunshine, the royal magnolia began to bloom in all of its beauty. In addition to that, my son-in-law told me that we saw the first goldfinch of the season the first robin of the season, and to the two families of mallards that have uh, summered there in a pond nearby over the last several summers began to appear also at the bird feeders. So it was just a great reminder to me of God's continuing creative process in nature, that out of that dry, barren land, the grass began to turn green just as the psalmist said that it would. There began to be color all around. The trees began to bud and it was beautiful. Unfortunately, my daughter's forsythia did not get out far enough for me to get a good picture of it before I left, but it still was beginning to show its color. And in all of that, all of that beauty of nature, I was reminded again of this season in which we live right now. Today is the 11th day of the 50 day Easter season. That time from the day 11 days ago when we celebrated Easter Sunday morning, the resurrection once again, until the time that we celebrate at Pentecost, the coming of the Holy Spirit on Jesus disciples as he had promised. But in this season of Easter, we continue each day to remember that we live post-resurrection, that Jesus is alive. God raised him from the dead, from the tomb, and Jesus proclaimed to his disciples, peace, peace. And so during these days of the Easter season, I want to just challenge each of us to find something in the world in which we live, something in the relationships that we cherish that will remind us that God continues to give life, not only in nature, but God gives life in relationships. And the ultimate relationship, of course, is in that life that we share with Jesus Christ as adopted sons of God and daughters of God through the price that Jesus paid on the cross. God raised him to new life. And in this season, as we look at new life, whether it be in nature or in relationships, 
or actually whether we are celebrating a different kind of life for someone that we may have lost to death over these last days. It is a reminder that God has promised us eternal life with God. Jesus said, if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and take you to myself, so that where I am there you may be also. And so those whom we lost have, do now know the fulfillment of that promise that Jesus made. So celebrate new life in these days of Easter. Let us pray. God, we give you thanks for the gift of new life in nature, in relationships, and even the new life that comes after death when we are raised to new life in Christ. We give you thanks for your promise of recreating us daily as we are open to the work of your Spirit within our lives. And so during these continuing days of the Easter season, O oh God, may we each day find reason to celebrate new life in Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless you. I will see you in church on Sunday.